This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 694 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling, and at least one night we've been making um, sexual innuendos about Harry Potter. Uh, this, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA, live streaming to you and around the world. We got the crew with us. We got a hell of a crew with us, and only one title. Nobody gets titles except for one person. Uh, one of them without it, but he is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter with from the WWE. He is up in somewhere in upstate New York where they get snow. He is Mad Mike. <laughs> Sorg. Sorg. I'm for, I neglected to mention my wand size before. Okay. It's, and it's not a prerequisite for this show, sir. 12 and 3 quarter inches. Okay. That's a lie. <laughs> Around. Hey, yeah. it shows me, all right? I don't have control over the damn thing. Son of a bitch. Also with us, our friend in the mainstream media, where, we, where we're breaking all the FCC rules, mainstream mass. Sorg, it's not the size of your chamber of secrets. It's, you know. <laughs> it's how you slither in. What, you hide in it? It's how big the basilisk is inside. I don't even read. What are you asking me for? By the way, and also with us, and I realize her entire family's probably watching right now, Tatiana Rose is with us. Hello. <laughs> New Black Diamond Women's Champion. Yay. <laughs> we'll be talking to her about that here later in the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I, I, you have made at least, I, I guess, like kind of a cameo making a match for Mayhem Mania, right? Yep. And also you've been on the video game streams with us. Oh, yes. And... Um, I also once got harassed by Christian Noir on a video game stream. That's, oh, well, the world did. <laughs> what else is new? We, we Finally, finally, next year, in 2020, I'm going to allow him on a live Facebook stream again. Are you it's sure official. that's a good idea? It's official. Well, I mean, we're going to keep the button handy. Uh, <laughs> so, I would keep know. a spray bottle handy, too. Just like any time we start <laughs> a going A spray off. bottle? We were just going to just... <laughs> Anytime he starts going off, just go. It's gonna. No. Well, and he always he usually wears the face paint when he's on the show. So that makes it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> it is the end of Christian Noir, so it just like slowly starts spraying off his face. Fading yeah. away. It'll, it'll look like Sting hiding under the box where the Seth Rollins statue was. If it. <laughs> if we, if we, <laughs> The second they made a big deal about those statues, I was like, oh, no. Stings in the box. Very specific reference. Stings definitely in the box. (laughs) By the way, watch the untold on that. I think that was really interesting. If you have a chance, it's up on the network. Uh, Ronnie Starks was supposed to be here. He was quarantined, and then uh, we uh, actually suspended him for the week for violation of the WMS wellness policy. Uh, Get better soon and get off them steroids. Uh, So we'll uh, see him next week for hopefully he's healed by the time uh, uh, it's time for the good guys uh, Christmas special. Um, I have no idea what's in store for that. I I just hear I might have to come back. For people that. are making plans. I don't know. If Sorry, I'm going to gonna drink. You're going to drink. I'm going to drink. It is the night to drink. So yeah, we'll, I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink, and hopefully, if I can, if I can get to it, I'm going to sing. Oh, Ooh. singing will happen. Some. So over the internet singing will happen apparently. <laughs> so I, uh, I hope we're not going to have to synchronize over the Google Hangout. That could get messy. Hey, uh, Sorg, there there is some asshole in the chat room. T Crosi. T Crosi. I don't know who that is. Oh my god. I'm not sure who that is. No, me neither. Me neither. Here oh, hi Zeke. Hi Dave. Hey. Hashtag. Hey Zeke, Zeke and Dave are in there and T Crows. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You're going to check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Find links to subscribe to us on podcast and video form and look us up on your favorite platform. Other shows on there like the Indie Mayhem Show. I had a great conversation with Bubba the Bulldog. Bub, Bubba the Bulldog. I think I'm legally required to say it that way. Uh, of, I understand I had an interesting weekend at a KSWA. And we talked a lot about um, lying about the history of, of indie wrestling and IWC and PWX. So I, all the way back to the 90s and 
uh, that time that he got handcuffed to Paul Bear at ringside at a WWF show. It, there were some pretty interesting stories there. So definitely, I know I piqued your interest over there. Go check that out on the Indie Mayhem Show. Also, a great interview Jim LaMotta had with one Shirley Doe, the evil genius of professional wrestling here. And uh, I think you're a 25-year veteran, if I'm not mistaken, in the Pittsburgh area. Definitely worthwhile. So go check out all those. Of course, all those are on the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, super feed if you can find that on your iTunes or other podcast place so you can get all of the wrestling related podcasts. These are some extra ones we can stick in there every once in a while too. Who knows what we're doing over Christmas? Um, you can also hit us up at that email address. Good, Good times. times! Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com uh, or 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Uh, and, of course, follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and Wrestling Mayhem Show group on Facebook. A lot of great discussions and memes coming up in there. And we are here live <laughs> every Tuesday, except for the Christmas break, uh, on Facebook Live around about 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And sometimes the stream gets a little funky. Thank you, Vimeo, for that. Uh, and if you're catching us later on another feed, uh, you can, of course, tweet us at Mayhem Show with the hashtag WMS694. Um, and thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You guys are helping make the mayhem show world go round. Our friends, Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and Tima Hamma Fist, all at the fan of the show dollar level. At the $5 Poppy Club. Yes. Poppy Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Ponder, and Kyle Turner. Our friend at the Pizza Club, ten dollar level at thirteen is Brian Clark, and our manager at the twenty dollar level, our friend at OccupyProWrestling.com. Thank you guys for supporting the show. You can too at Patreon.com/WrestlingMamShow. And since we had a little bit of an issue with our stream getting going earlier tonight, um, that first ten minutes of the pre-show is now exclusive <laughs> to Patreon. Uh, so go check that out at the Poppy Club level, guys. A lot of stuff happening in wrestling. And I think since we're here, we need to talk about. Uh, well, actually, I have one I'm going to hold on because I, I want to. I don't. We, there was a little bit you were talking about since we've had mainstream Matt on for the first time in a while. You've been really excited about back from some, suspension. Back from suspension. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the FCC made us. Uh, uh, you 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 were just talking about before the show how you're really excited about an old Mayhem Mania match it seems to be coming to fruition of sorts. Yes, yes. Uh, last year during, I believe it was last year during Mayhem Mania. Like the 2018, right? Uh, yeah, yes. two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago in Mayhem Mania. Two Mayhem Mania. I ago. created, I, I, I'm, I mean, I don't make matches often in Mayhem Mania. No. But when I do, they're awesome. <laughs> and this one, I made, uh, two years ago, I made Seth Rollins in the AOP versus Roman Reigns in the Usos. What a great match, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, now it can actually happen. We're close now. And since we're on the topic of Mayhem Mania, uh, do you know that Tatiana um, once played Mayhem Mania with us? Mm -hmm. and would you like to know what match she made? Oh, you found, oh, no, you, you found it. You found it. Oh, no. uh -huh. I, I don't know why anyone would mock this match. And this by the way, match if, is if you're an new. absolute banger. Um, but by the way, Mayhem Mania is a thought experiment we do leading into WrestleMania of making like the best possible WrestleMania ever that we do. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people get into it. If you're new to the program, they're that's not what, up on the lore. There you go. Oh. Go look up Mayhem Mania <laughs> the on the WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and you, you you can get up on the lore. And also, if you subscribe to Patreon, you can become part of the lore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best promo for Patreon I think we've ever done. <laughs> we make it rain during that's right. Mayhem Mania. That's right. <laughs> New tier, Lorgatron. Right, so. We write we write an epic tome about you. <laughs> Anyways, what was that match? Okay, Tatiana Rose, your match uh, that you created last year was Kofi Kingston oh. and Xavier Woods versus Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I right. remember this. Now. And that and that allows me to circle back to the fact that we were so far ahead on this Rhea Ripley train. <laughs> I, I, I we were making Rhea Ripley matches. Ripley. Every week during Mayhem she Mania was just like, last year, just lighting on fire. Uh, uh, in, in and this is early earlier this year, right? Yeah. yeah. So she was just kind of popping in UK. She wasn't like a hundred and ten percent scary yet. She was like at eighty percent. The, the, the scary. internet has had not scary fallen in love with her yet. Yeah. The, the yes. internet was not yet fully in love. They were like at ninety five percent. But like, yeah, yeah. But we were way out in front. On yes. That. Or we were at least, making matches. Or at least, with at least she was. Week. 
Yeah. I don't know if that was, was that a full like creation or was that like a modification? It was a full creation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think Rhea Ripley wasn't the original. She wasn't the original person I had in there. I had somebody else, but I ended up putting her in because my original person was in a different match. So Mm -hmm. I, so I was like, Oh yeah. You actually, uh, you, you killed a match to create that match. Mm. You want to know the match that you killed to yeah. create that match? Yes. The match you deleted to create that match was you deleted the Usos versus the Revival versus Sasha and Bailey. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's part of the I lore think, now. Okay. <laughs> I, I think that match is an upgrade. Mm-hmm. It's more New Day versus New Day versus Nikki Cross from Rhea Ripley. I'd still watch that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That'd be- so I think more much. people would be into that now than they would have been, you know, a year ago. So, mm-hmm. and plus, Nikki knows Die Hard is a is a Christmas movie, so <laughs> you know, it's it's even better. All right, so Absolutely. who in the room does not think that Die Hard is a Christmas movie? I think we're all on agreement in the um, room. Yeah, I mean, fine with that. So, okay. what was this? I, so, there's this Twitter exchange. Was that Nikki Cross that was going on about it? Nikki Cross, Drake Maverick, and um. Killian Dane and Eric Young, I think. Oh no, oh no! So it was going all in on that, huh? So, Basically, everyone from TNA is wrong. Well, <laughs> okay. Was, oh, so um, applies to a lot of things. Well, <laughs> oh, so the oh, other no, guy I, from Sanity wasn't in on wasn't on the side of Nikki oh, and Killian. No, I guess I found it. Oh no! There it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's an action movie that happens at Christmas time. Not a Christmas movie, says Drake Maverick. Christmas has nothing to do with the theme of the film. Could have happened any time of the year. Could have been an Easter movie for all we know, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. You got to find that. That's in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Uh, we did some screenshots over there that uh, Dave Potter had posted. So, Zeke, you are allowed to stay in the chat room. Oh, is he with us? There you go. There you go. I don't know. Maybe they're just playing along right now so they don't get kicked out. <laughs> so, um, Some other big moves this week. Uh, but I guess other than the big moves we did back in Mayhem Mania, um, there were a lot of releases. Uh, Sin Cara is gone. Luke Harper is gone. Um, and also, I'm yes, so sir. glad, Matt, that you're on the show this week. Yes. So we can talk about the fact that the Ascension have left the wasteland. It's been a lean few years for the Ascension Quotes Twitter account, Sorg. Because these guys are never on TV. Mm-hmm. So... Uh... Uh, maybe now we'll actually hear them speak words mm-hmm. and we can quote them again because mm-hmm. <laughs> we were out of quotes yes. for a long time. There was a welcome to the wasteland sign in at like a pay-per-view or something in the last couple months. I there's thought. always one guy <laughs> yeah. at the WWE show. There's with another, like, there's another resurrect the Ascension. I mean, I imagine know? if you sat camera side at shows, you'd probably also have a sign. There's always a pro Ascension sign at mm. every WWE show because. But nobody listened. I mean, that is like as. You know, you want to be like as hipster as you can when you're watching your wrestling. You can't get much more hipster than I'm the one Ascension fan. You know, Matt, I, that's I've, like I've, I'm isolated from everyone else. I'm doing my thing. I don't care what you think, Matt. I have a question for you. What do you think, Connor and Victor, will rejoin his cosmic wasteland brethren, Cody? No, no, no. I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. He has he has a butcher, a blade, and a bunny to deal with now. I know. Hmm. I know. Hmm. Um. I I don't know. I, I don't like. I I don't know what the ascension does now. I mean, I, I, I they're gonna have to they're, they're not, gonna have to use their other names now, right? What are you gonna call them now? But are they going to keep using gluten jokes? <laughs> that's the real question that Easy is the question. real question wow <laughs> forget about the gluten jokes <laughs> I um I, if i were to predict i would say they end up in uh, impact wrestling to do stuff i'm really fighting this mic you tonight. are fighting that microphone i'm like where's that coming from it's like yep i but, think they're gonna make I, I I predict a huge splash at Joey Janela's spring break. Oh, yeah. oh they are yes. they are tailor made for that show. Jeez. I don't you know, know what, what happens to them after that, but I, I'm gonna say they show up on NWA Power in the same gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> they just become like the this era of NWA just Powers. Uh, and they just call themselves Road Warriors. Wasteland. The Wasteland. Yeah, yeah, why not? They're gonna have to call it something else, though. I think the Wasteland would be. No, it would work. I don't think the Wasteland is trademarked. No, that was not just... yet. 
Not yet. <laughs> Not trademark yeah. yet. <laughs> I don't know what uh, uh, Luke Harper made sure to read trademark like uh, his old Brody Lee name. Mm-hmm. So also still, I, just, I remember this was a thing before, but I was wondering if it changed after he was released. But he still has like every day. It's Saturday. You know what that means. Yeah. It's Sunday. You know what that means. And I <laughs> uh, look, he just has been doing this every day. Yeah, he's been doing it every single day. Yeah. I think it started out as like a joke or rather as uh, sort of him building up to whatever his return was supposed to be. The return didn't happen. And he was like, well, no reason to stop. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to keep going. Or wherever he pops up or something. Or it, it's like. I... He probably just reads interesting responses to it. That could be too. Maybe he just does it to pop the internet and see what happens. It's his own uh, social media experiment. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, update on uh, NWA Power. Thanks to Tina in the chat room. Uh, we got some bad news. Got some bad news. <laughs> Stu Bennett is uh, uh, taking Cornette's place in the commentary. Is that? <gasps> by the way, is that shirt handy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> is that shirt handy by chance? No reason. Oh, yes. I still do have my bad news no. pair of t- No, no, no not that one. I was I, talking about the I, Joe Cornette one. one. Oh, hold on. There uh, we had a gift from G Raver uh, over the weekend. There you and go. I'm gonna see, uh, no, if no, the other. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna on, yeah, we go ahead, go ahead. We can show it. Oh, oh are you gonna do oh, it? I mean, no. Oh, the, okay. There you go. We got, I'm... We, we got the sweet G Raver uh, motherfucker shirt, which is the uh, alternate uh, edition for some. I don't know. We could be talking about Stu Bennett. You don't know. Yep. You don't know who that could be. That Look could be anybody. Look at this it could art. be this anybody with glasses art. in that now, hairline. No, wait. If Stu Bennett does commentary for power, mm-hmm. does it have to be on a scissor lift? No. Uh... <laughs> he just opens every end of the I'll never forget the time the, the time the scissor lift broke down. <laughs> and he had to wing it. And he did. That. He just he made it work. It's just, that dude is super uh, you know. Oh, I'm a big time bad news Barrett guy. It was uh, um, uh, I miss underrated. him a lot. The New Day podcast, they were t- like Big E was talking about how demoralizing it was that he was having a match, and uh, and then Bad News Barrett comes out to berate him and call him boring. Yeah, he's just, just like Bad News Barrett rising out of the just crowd. Just like, how is that supposed to help your self esteem while you're trying to build yourself on on SmackDown, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. Listen, nothing is more motivating than spite. If Bad News Bear got up on a forklift and was calling me boring, yes, I would be put off for a second, but then I'd try to become interesting and try to be like, no, no, screw you. Well, I, 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 that worked for Biggie. Yes, <laughs> it, did. Okay. it definitely I worked for Biggie. I was in the scissor lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like, there's two of us. We can take this. It's, it's like, oh, look, you forgot to lock down your scissor lift before you went up. Oh. That's a violation, there, just... and I'm going to show you why. Or just make it go higher. <laughs> It's like, really hey, you want to go into them. the rafters? <laughs> hey, you want to cosplay a sting? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I mean, so some shakeups. I mean, but this is, I think this is expected. And and I think these were people that wanted out, which is weird since Sin Cara kind of had to run for a little bit and had a friend <laughs> that they gave he, him. He, Sin Cara got back on TV. Yeah. Did like a like a three-week deal with Andrade Mm -hmm. and then asked for his release. Mm -hmm. Like, no, no more. I could take no more of this television exposure. Yeah. Let me be free. And we got to think, like, you you are still, despite, like, maybe not being happy, you're still on TV in front of more eyeballs than you probably will ever be otherwise. Uh, Yeah, I mean... I mean... But he wasn't on TV before that. I thought no, 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 no. no. I thought he asked for his release. Then they put him on TV like, hey, we'll use you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> and then he public, you have yeah. a friend? Well, He's yeah, like, oh, maybe. yeah, cool, cool. How long are you guys using me for? Oh, you know, three weeks. Well, th- then he got power bombed to the Jesus and back by Andrade <laughs> on the floor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was bad. He's probably like, oh, I'm not resigning. I'm yep, no, I'm out. I'm out. This is what they think. Um, well, <laughs> you know, not everybody can be revival that complains on Twitter, says they want out, and they're given both tag titles within the span of six months. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I'm, hey, I still say, like, all right. We're not doing predictions yet. I wouldn't be surprised That's in 2020 week. there was the revival win the tag titles in NXT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they already hung out down there for a minute, didn't they? Uh-huh. So we'll, we'll have a shakeup at mm-hmm. some point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which I mean, and I'm not mad at that. I'm just like, oh, they're going to SmackDown. Bruh. 
They go to here, blah. You tell me Revival's going to go back to NXT and have great matches. All right, I'm in. All right. Yeah. It's such... There's there's literally, like, no one you could say they're going to NXT that you don't go, like, no! yes! Um, hold on. There's one person. Oh, try it. Oh, this is oh, this is a fun game. Oh, you know what? Name me one no, person hold on, that hold on. would get sent I, to NXT Sorg, that you would be like, damn I, it. I've got one Sorg, person in let's, mind. Sorg, let's make this the big question. Okay, okay. Everybody think about this. But, yes. What is the <laughs> most undesirable person in WWE that you would groan at if they popped up in NXT? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's uh, our question. We're going to give you a two-segment lead on this while I go into an ad. So... <laughs> Uh, so speaking of people that you probably won't grow at if they pop up on NXT, uh, check out indie wrestling dot network. A lot of great content, a lot of best of content went up this week, uh, as well, but also a lot of great, uh, new shows, uh, multiple new programs. I mean, there's still going to be two brand new wrestling shows filmed this month going up on indie wrestling dot network, just five ninety nine a month. You can check it out. You're going to watch for free with a seven day free trial. Uh, we just posted and I'll pull the trailer up here in a moment. Uh, we just posted the RWA seasons beatings uh, that just went up uh, from this Saturday night. If I can actually get this to stream properly. There you go. There you can kind of see it there. Uh, <laughs> El Bronco Loco. Devon Dudley from WWE was there uh, as well, hanging out with the Rev, you know, because the Reverends need to stick together. Our friend <laughs> Facade, and of course, all the great stars of RWA Super Hentai, Jason Gorey, uh, Jacob Edwin, uh, John Roden stealing a girl, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Roden, the, no. The Axeman Man Clint Pro. Uh, a lot of great stuff. A lot of great action. And just the most insane crowd. Uh, Matt can attest to that. He's been around that crew. They're in, the best. Crowd posse. I don't know if they're the best. They're really good. They're, <laughs> they're the most interesting crowd. They're the most vocal crowd. They're the loudest crowd. They're the most... I, they have got to be the most into it crowd, I think, in the area. Um, hands down. It, 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 it can't refute that. Um, but, uh, so much is going on there. Um, so much is happening, uh, with, uh, rise wrestling to prospect pro wrestling, both have anniversary shows this weekend. You can check out all those shows from last month and actually the entire run of prospect pro wrestling, go check them out. And, uh, black diamond wrestling where, Oh, you can see, wait, you can see Tatiana won that belt over there. Yay. Yay. Well, defended. Uh, received and defended. Yes. Received and defended. Yes. And still new. And still <laughs> new. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's actually I've been sitting here for the past two weeks. I might as well say it while she's here. Um, but also, uh, <laughs> stuff, great great stuff coming on, like reps with Rigatoni and so much more. I don't know why people are just saying my name in the chat room. Uh, so, uh, But anyways, speaking of which, let's talk about that. Tatiana Rose is with us here today. And, uh, you know, normally, you know, I, I, I kind of like weigh, weigh, like, do they come on the main show? Do they go on an Andy Mayhem show? But you've had like three matches. And I, I think this is this is too good not to have up here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a belt, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I guess actually four matches. You had a tag team match too. Uh do we have to, okay three singles, three singles three singles three singles matches and um and a singles championship. So <laughs> uh, a product of the Fight Society uh, uh, training. Uh, well, Academy was it? Is it? Institute. Institute. Thank you. I forgot the I forgot the word. Uh, but uh, a product of Fight Society. Of course, you did some stuff. Um, you get you did some stuff going on. Uh, somebody's talking about my tweets. Uh, you did some stuff going on. Um, 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 in Fight Society, of course, part of Angel Gate. You had your first couple of matches, and then you come out of Black Diamond, and there hasn't been a lot of women's wrestling in Black Diamond for several months. A lot of intergender, which is great. Uh, but you're taking on another Fight Institute grad, uh, Scarlet. And then uh, Ronnie Starks, who is out on a wellness uh, issue right now from the show, I, I want to remind you, uh, <laughs> apparently found it in the back and bestowed it on you. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. I was like, yay, I'm going to have a match. I'm going to do good. And Ronnie? What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Indie wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um so so what were you i i was it was a base like i love every picture is just you're afraid of having the belt it seems or okay this is here it 
Well, I uh, I kind of thought it was a joke until I got to the ring, and then they said, "Anyway, this is a this is a women's championship title match," and I go, "It is." <laughs> I thought it was just a match. I have to defend this thing. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, that whole night was just very, very concerning. <laughs> I continue to fight the mic. That is my everlasting opponent <laughs> <laughs> so so um i felt like when you left it looked like i thought did it look like you were gonna throw up i will neither confirm nor okay. deny <laughs> <laughs> let's just say i was uh i was very scared mm-hmm. that uh, scarlet was going to kill me mm-hmm. and uh i thought it was best that I get away from the ring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's all I will say. <laughs> so uh, you've been at this for a bit. At least you've been around doing the interviews and, uh, and, and, and kind of kind of a part of OSHA for a little bit too. Hence, I think the Ronnie involvement, I think, for the night. And then before yeah. things went south for him. Oh, geez. Yeah. That was, that was surprising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the... Because here's the thing, I thought that Ronnie had kind of forgotten that I was a part of OSHA, and then, until he brought out the belt, and then he and I were talking in the back, everything was cool, Mm -hmm. and then that happened, and we were both like, well, that was weird. (laughs) Neither of us knew what was going on, so. Um, so, so, already, uh, when was your first match? It was just, like, two months ago, right? October 26th. October 26th. Your first singles match. Uh, and who was it against? It was against Charlie Cruel. Charlie? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I, I, I'm mad. I think you've had some run-ins for Charlie Cruel. She uh, came uh, after me with a knife once. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. For those that don't know Charlie Cruel, Mike, are you okay over there? <laughs> Jesus, Matt. <laughs> I, I don't think she likes so, me. <laughs> so, somewhere, the, somewhere all the ladies are going, That's what happened. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you know, it, it's wrestling. Anything can happen. She was brother. definitely one of the more interesting people at Angel Gate. And, and I don't know, there was this rash of Matt kept, um, if something strange was going to happen on one side of the ring, uh, it, it, it was probably going to be his side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. my gimmick when I run ring side camera is getting in the way. <laughs> so, yeah. so. Uh, But yes, yes. Charlie Cruel is, uh, I, I mean... I mean, obviously she's doing something right. She left an impression on me, so yeah, and you, you know, so um, yeah, she's doing something right. Awesome. So I guess going into twenty twenty, you're looking uh, forward to having a long reign of that uh, championship. Oh yes, oh yes, I'm looking forward to having a long long reign. Few defenses. Is that what we're thinking here? Is that the that's an idea. Hey, That's good. If yeah. nothing else, you'll be at least a, a champion for two years by the time the next <laughs> Black Diamond show comes on. You, you should have a gimmick where they can only challenge you if they can answer these questions three. There we go. We should roll it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Hey, yeah, somebody I'm... call up Rick Diamond. I got a plan. <laughs> That's a, no, we come up with a lot. Like, hey, we'll we'll remember, we were trying to get a deck to halls match going a couple weeks ago. I, I mean, normal people do number one contender matches. By the way, Rick, only Rick, true champions do trivia. Uh, Rick Diamond <laughs> is actually in the chat room right now. So, be, be, Mike, do you have any other ideas for uh, Black Diamond Wrestling while the while the <laughs> the man that owns the company is there? I still want someone to do a Taipei Pen A match. And that w- that would be again. Uh, a Taipei Penne match is where you take dried pasta, you dip your hands in marinara sauce, mm-hmm. and then you dip your hands in the crumbled up dry pasta, and it's a it's like a Taipei death match, only with pasta. Oh, but can we do that with anybody other than Mambo Italiano and Chess Flex? You can do that with <laughs> literally anyone, Sorg. I mean, do we have you know, to? <laughs> Are, wait, are you volunteering? Do, do you no, want to be no, in a... no, no, Oh, no, wait, wait. Is that, no, 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 no. is that what the rematch with Scarlet's going to be? Did you just challenge oh, no. Mambo? Wait, did you just here's challenge what... Mambo Italiano oh, here on the show? Is that what happened? Oh, okay. Sorry, here, Maybe. Here's, no. If it's, if it's not, <laughs> not Mambo, <laughs> if it's not Mambo, one person has to be gluten free. Mm. That way, it's like a death match, essentially. Surprise, it's going to be Connor and Victor from The Ascension. Oh! <laughs> Get on the 
the horn, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> They're free. Get them in. Welcome to the pasta land. Welcome to the pasta land. <laughs> oh, show title. Show title with a picture of uh, Ascension on a Chef Boyardee oh, can. Oh, oh, their new, man. Their new yeah, names can be like a brand of pasta. On that right away. <laughs> their new names can be brands of pasta. Oh, Penne no. and Rosa. Yes. Ragu and Prego. Oh. <laughs> no, that's when Primo and Epico get fired. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, let's roll back. Are they still there? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Primo... Uh, Primo just got busted for a wellness violation. Oh shit! Wait, what? What? Yeah. He's still able to? Wait, he's still there. Hey, he, hey! If you don't answer your phone, you still work there. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it JTG, works. JTG taught us that very important. Lesson. That's how. That's how you screwed up the first time around, right, Mike? You got your future exactly. endeavor letter. I got, <laughs> actually, um, I got my endeavor letter through an email. Oh, okay. Which I still have saved. Yes. And I actually need to print out at some point. You should get on that. You know, I don't know you why it's not really... framed and behind you in the shot. Um, I feel like at this point it might be a detriment. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. For reasons. I, 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 I would. I didn't... I, Sorg, no one likes self-fulfilling props. <laughs> no one. Not oh. Harry Potter. Certainly not this guy. <laughs> Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode also got popped for wellness, apparently. I, I guess look mm -hmm. at him. I he was getting a little too glorious there. The, the, <laughs> glor the glorious popping rude. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, that was okay. Awful. All right. Yeah. Um, that's unfortunate. So I and not that he was in a really good position for a bit. Um, so well now he he's not Bobby Rude anymore. He's, yeah, he, he's Robert, Robert Rude. Which yeah. is worse. That is uh, so much worse. He's kind of been both over the years. Hey, well, Mike, well, was it was he Robert Rude at any point in TNA? Oh, yeah. Well, Robert Root is okay if you're a suit-wearing heel. Mm -hmm. Like, in a stable, like he was in Fortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He did... He, Can I we just think... recreate Fortune? We got everybody in <gasps> no, WWE. Right. Well, no. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because but... Kazarian and Daniels are in AEW. Yeah. We mm -hmm. can't do Fortune without Kazarian and Daniels. Uh -huh. That's because true. Because they, they got Bobby Root. <laughs> they got Bobby Root a giant throne that he couldn't sit on. And his little legs. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> well, it was like it was like it was a comically giant throne, and they they guy for Bobby Roode, and he went to sit in the throne, and he couldn't reach the mat, so he just kept kicking his legs like a child. I'm like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was the segment where Kaz and Daniels were dressed as the guys from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, oh no! I need to find this. Uh, and, I, yeah, the I, the only greater gift. In the entirety of TNA history, is Scott Steiner on a pogo stick? Oh, it isn't. It isn't uh, the 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 little person with the gun. The sword. That's just sword. Just because you have a grudge against Puppet because he called you an asshole. That was the yeah, doesn't mean. Sword. I. Man. We still need to bring him back. No, we don't. You need to no, get redemption. Don't. No, for redemption. You need to get redemption. What am I going to do to get redemption? How will we bring him back for episode 700? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You, you, and, it's, but it's, we call what? it 700. We call it 700 centimeters. Oh, oh. This is the mayhem. This is your life. And then all of a sudden, you just hear. Can you can you recognize <laughs> this voice? You're an asshole, <laughs> puppet. <laughs> And then, can you recognize this voice? Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> and Mike's like, Vampiro? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yes. Man. Yeah. Oh, boy. You think Vampiro's going to pop up at that WD uh, now that uh, Lucha Underground? Uh, Chris uh, is over there. Maybe. I yeah. don't know. Our friend. Our friend Chris. Yeah, oh. our buddy Chris. <laughs> the Joseph. Um, is that that's been confirmed since, right? I don't know if it's been confirmed. It was like an unconfirmed rumor a week ago. Yeah. So I mean, either way. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hey, hey, make SmackDown great again. Give me some oh, uh, ninja no, skeletons. No, no, Sorg. Sorg. Don't don't say that phrase. Oh, not that way. Okay. Well, I'm just saying I just want some ninja skeletons and some undead um Yeah, first time you see a time travel angle, you'll know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Kalisto just perfect. go back in time. The first time, the first time I see a medallion pop up, I'm like, oh, Chris, Chris is back. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
the first time there's literal murder on a show. Ah, okay, there it is. <laughs> He's got his footprints. Uh, that the show was wild. The Poor great, Dolph Ziggler. The greatest thing. The greatest thing. Now I'm kind of hoping that like one of these weeks, like Ray Mysterious can get locked in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> why is Ray in the Why is Ray Ray in the boiler room? <laughs> Just locked in a in a cellar. I will give Lucha Underground this: when they realize that they lost about half of their big names. The very beginning of season two, you just see police board with missing persons and pictures of everybody that yep. said they were coming back and didn't. It was so great. It was like, well, mm-hmm. at uh, least they acknowledge they're not there. Yeah, at least yep. you're like, there's a, there's a cue. They're just like, listen, the don't expect The best thing, these guys. too, if you read the comic books, Wait. They act- yes. What? Oh, oh have what? you not known about this? No, there's Lucha oh. Underground comic books? Yeah, 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 yeah. Between seasons one and two. When I was at the uh, when I was at the filming for season three, like there were like crew members ringside reading the comic books. Uh-huh. <laughs> I yeah, still um, think the best gift from that show is freaking uh, Prince Puma looking over the roof and PJ Black seeing him stopping and just <laughs> walking <laughs> away. <laughs> There's no dialogue exchange between them. Black just sees him and goes <laughs> and walks. It's great. I. I, damn it! I need to rewatch all of Lucha Underground. I mean, don't we all? I mean, it was so it's great. It's no longer on Netflix, though. Oh, oh man! No, it's on uh, Tubi. Tubi. TV. Tubi. Yes. TV. Go, go look up Tubi. T U B I TV. It's on yeah. every platform, and it is free. It's it ad supported, free. but it is free. You can go watch Lucha Underground. I think all and, of it. And you can watch the series finale where Matt and I are mentioned by oh. name. Or yes, or you yeah. can hang out at my place because I have it all on Apple. <laughs> I bought the entire okay, the so entire thing. Streaming party. Streaming party. Yes. Oh my oh. god. Yes. Yes. Listen, or can we do that? Listen, we need to prepare ourselves for uh, two mornings straight of Wrestle Kingdom next month. Uh, I think we should do it by the week before. Just watch. <laughs> just watching all Lucha oh, Underground. All right. I want to talk about a missed opportunity for Wrestle Kingdom. Okay. So these are supposedly Liger's last matches, right? Mm-hmm. Why isn't his supposed last match in all professional wrestling against Brian Pillman Jr.? Oh, great. That yeah. would be good. Oh, gee. Yeah. I you think that like that even though that match holds a lot of significance to us, that perhaps to Liger himself it's like just a match like he doesn't really think about it as much as we do i mean i don't know i don't know i bet he probably does especially now that pillman's no longer with us mm-hmm. yeah it would be interesting had, had they done that Is no pillman Jr. now it hasn't happened now? probably hasn't happened i guess no. it's not gonna happen though, somebody so. tweet somebody tweet pillman, pillman, pillman jr come on hey um I, I get the impression that uh liger doesn't really want to do a singles match or doesn't think he can but maybe like, do do one on that stage anymore so a tag um, team match then something yeah well, i mean yeah i don't know it'd be fun it'd be a lot of fun to watch mm-hmm. but but you know this is liger's uh farewell so he's getting yeah i, I mean if he's he, what he, he wants so if he's doing what he wants to do that's fine i just yeah. I really, I thought that would have been a nice, like, it'd be, yeah, it'd be a thing. nice tie up, at least for American audiences. And he was doing a bit of a tour here through America. So I'm kind of curious if that, like, somebody somewhere would have um, put that together. So I still think every time we talk about Liger, I can't help but think about, like, how, like, my night, my, my nine year old son is, like, knows who Jushin Thunder Liger is. Because you know, uh, first seeing him when he showed up in uh, in that one takeover, and how like like Liger, the gateway drug to Japanese wrestling for like thirty years worth of wrestling fans here in the states is that's amazing. Okay, like all right, they have had one match, one match. It was a six man tag team match for Defy Wrestling. Ooh. There you go. So, so Tina might have seen this. When was that? Tina, get that, get that video. Um, eight <laughs> uh, August twenty third of this year. Oh, okay. It was Liger, Coughlin, and Carl Fredericks against the American Guns and Brian Pillman Jr. 
Mm. So Tina may know of that. But she, yeah, she is confirming. It says it already happened in a six-way oh, okay. match. Wow. When She's off that Tacoma, shit. Tacoma, Washington in August. It She's was, off it was, that shit. It was a New Japan double shot weekend. I also tweeted Pillman to see if he had a, a, a match opportunity. Hoping he might tell me the same, but I'm curious if there might be a single somewhere. So, <laughs> right in our backyard. I'm losing my thing. <laughs> oh, now Sorg's fighting the microphone. Oh, now my microphone's falling apart over here. <laughs> Oh, it's had some good years. So, <laughs> anyways, um, it's had some awkward years. Too. It's also had some awkward years. Yes, I probably should. I probably should clean this thing. Jimmy Demarco. Oh, oh. you know what's <laughs> a, the, the 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 strangest thing is just to be standing here in the studio and get a knock on my window and there's Jerry, Jimmy Demarco waving at me. I'm like, it's Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know how to react. It's like come in or hi or like I don't know what's about to happen. So. Anyways, uh, hey, you know what else is, uh, is is about to happen? I'm going to grab myself a sweet, sweet slice of uh, that slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, our good friends over here, right up the street here in Beachview, Carnegie, East End, and PNC Parker here around Pittsburgh. And of course, I know a lot of you are out there, just like we're talking about out in Washington uh, with our friend Tina, and uh, we like to help the global expansion. So if you've got a Broadway in your town... We'll take a picture of that Broadway Avenue sign. Please go tag at PGH underscore slice on the Twitter and tell them you want to slice on your Broadway and help them out. You never know. You never know when they're ready to expand outside Pittsburgh limits. I'm just watching Mike eat, not slice off of the side here. <laughs> they sell pasta there too, Sork. What's that? They sell pasta there they too. They do sell pasta there. He's eating pasta in very broad ways. I'm Welcome sorry, to the pasta land. Oh my God. <laughs> there you go. Sliceonbroadway.com. Go check it out. Thanks for supporting the show. Hey, guys, you're going to hear from Katie what some other stuff that we work on around here. And then um, we're going to come back with that big question. What was the big question? Uh, what NXT, what, who would you like to see on it? Or who could you think of to put on NXT that we could potentially groan at? Because it's <laughs> likely unlikely. Likely unlikely? I don't know. We'll be back after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Joker Sting versus the American Badass Undertaker is my dream match. Oh, oh we're coming back, and uh, while we're coming back here, Tina's asking if anybody saw the Impact Throwback Show yet. I no, did not have I did see some, I did see some, some clips, and I will allow anyone to book the Rough Riders. In, uh, you know, it, it's Mayhem my goal Mania. over the Christmas break to watch that. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, for reasons I do not wish to disclose, I have been at work a long time this week. Oh, there, there's a, a El Paso saying impacts on Tuesdays now. He can't make it on time for the show. God wow. damn it, El Paso! Wow, wow. impact! <laughs> oh no, the Tuesday night us. war has claimed another oh. casualty. <sighs> Disappointed. Well, it's that time. For your answers, I think there was a bunch of them. I'm gonna have to scroll back into the chat room again. They're just gonna have to resend them. Here's yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's gonna be impossible uh, with this. Uh, but anyway, what's actually impossible is mm. wording this question so that it makes sense. Okay, to listen. If this person were to show All up, right, in there's NXT, a superstar go, shakeup. Ugh. This person shows up in NXT, and the crowd goes, Wah. "Who is that person? <laughs> Who is this person? Is it possible to have that person? Oh, I mean, this person exists in WWE because oh, I it mean, it was almost Seth Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was almost Seth Rollins. And NXT, the NXT crowd is just like, yeah, yeah. No. Then they're like, did you Burn hear the actual? <laughs> they actually <laughs> Seth's not cool. They actually chanted, "That's, that's not, not cool." cool. That's not cool. Oh, oh, right. he, oh man, he got he got your old beat. Uh, apparently, it's for his figure four online job. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I know. Yeah, El Paso has yeah. been the Impact Beat Boy for Meltzer That's for like right. three or four years now. Man. Oh, okay. All right. If it, if it's for work, then trust me. Writing, Listen, about I get it. We understand. We understand <laughs> when wrestling is your work around here. <laughs> we 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 get it. Making we, wrestling your job. Yeah, that's right. Lord, wow. I've had twenty hours this week already. You've had twenty hours. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Wait. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Correct. Oh. Every no. time you see like a multi man or like a big like schmoz, <laughs> yeah, it's just like dollar signs, just like I, spinning from I, just, I I. I just look. I'm like, God, 
fuck this show. <laughs> when you're like by the hour and you see like the uh, Survivor Series throwdown um, locker room emptying, you just oh oh I I throw up my hands. <laughs> so we got we got to hit the chat. Bring room it back around. Bring so it back around. The answers are rolling. So in the now. answers are rolling oh, in. Do we want to go with the chat room first or Let, our let's own? Let's do answers. the chat room first because I'll tell room. I'll tell you which answers are wrong and which ones are right. <laughs> Oh, all right. all right. Who would you gro- who will who will NXT fans groan at if they returned to NXT oh. or showed up in NXT? Jennifer Carlin's your wife. Yeah. Did I do that right? Let's take you. Bo Dallas. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. Incorrect. No. He would get a Bo huge Dallas. pop, especially yeah. if he Wait. showed up in those white pants. Yes. Oh, Where is yeah. Bo Dallas? Uh, he disappeared off the face of the He's on Oh my then. god. Bo Dallas is inside of Rowan's cage. <laughs> that's the best theory I've heard yet. That's oh, that's so great. oh God, I, I want that so badly now. Even though I know it's just the fucking sheep mask. But God damn it, <laughs> it's, it's either the sheep mask or that fucking Rubik's cube. It's mm. one or the other. It can't be both. Please let it. Okay, it either has to be Bo Dallas or the Rubik's Cube now because I would pay. I would laugh so hard if he just pulls the thing off and it's a finished Rubik's Cube. Congratulations. And oh, he made you know it. what? He's been, he's been working on it ever since then. The reason he keeps it is in a cage, he doesn't want to lose his place. Mm-hmm. Aw, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. He's like, I have four sides done. I need to finish this. Uh, from the chat room, uh, Tina says collectively, collective sigh. What about Dave Podner? Oh, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'll go back to that. Uh, okay. Collective sigh, Randy Orton or Dolph Ziggler? Ooh. I, you know what? I, Randy's over everywhere. Dolph full Ziggler? sale would cheer for well, full sale would cheer for. I think they Randy. would for a moment. They would. But if Dolph Ziggler were to walk down, the full sale would just be like. If he walked in and he's about to have a match with Keith Lee or uh, Dijak, uh, I think the initial be like okay, okay. Uh, I, I think the initial response to both would be yeah, but then like by the next week they'd be kind of like I think we're done. I know? think yeah. it's like I think Dolph it Ziggler, yeah. I think Dolph Ziggler going back to NXT is already being done by Cassius Sona. Ah. I, I, I think that would have been the exact gimmick Dolph would have gone back to NXT with. <laughs> and the exact same response and the exact same win-loss record. All right. All right, I gotta hit this are you one. The I, got, are you doing I, got, I gotta hit this one because this one just popped me. Uh, El Paso says Mojo Rawley is the only answer. Last week it would have been the Ascension. <laughs> oh no, the Ascension would have gotten a no, pop. The Ascension would have had a pop. They were they were yeah. they were over I, as fuck. I think Mojo they came would up. get a pop too. Who? Mojo Rawley? No, no, I don't think I I, I think and, I think El Paso might be right. No, El Paso stealing my answer. Yeah, Mo- Mojo never was over when he was in NXT. <laughs> Not really. But then he went up and he had a program with Zack Ryder. I mean, and everybody was Hypros like, okay, were all right. Okay. Hypros were all right. They, yeah, they were hy- fine. Once he got with Zack Ryder, I- everything was fine. So him- yeah, Hypros were great. They had a great name that I gave them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not a joke. Nope. That's right. WWE <laughs> listens to the universe. That's not a joke. Mojo liked every single one of my tweets mm-hmm. that had hashtag Hypros in it. And then in a month and a half, they were calling themselves the Hypros. I'm like, I did that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault. I just, I, I, I'm you, sorry. You got Mojo Raleigh, his best push. Like, like of uh, all the ideas, of all the ideas I've ever tweeted, that's the one they use. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, Hell Pass was stealing my answer. My answer is Shane McMahon. <laughs> yes, Shane you McMahon not would not. He would not get a hero's welcome in NXT. No, 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 no. He's just like, not. I'm here, everybody. Aren't you glad to see me? And the crowd's going. <laughs> this is Uncle Paul's house. <laughs> boo. Shane Go back to NCIS. <laughs> Shane will give his little baby punches to Keith Lee. Oh God. <laughs> Keith Lee now, just sort of stands there and watches, like. If you're telling me like Keith Lee's gonna like fucking destroy Shane O'Mac, then it's like, well, we're now we're talking, right? No, but sure, Shane has to win. You forget. <laughs> you forget. I, mean, I, I think if that, I think Keith Lee versus Shane O'Mac only ends in Shane O'Mac getting like the pounce like through the Tron and the back of full <laughs> sale. You know. By the way, I've been, I've been looking at the other angles of the Adam Cole pounce. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Was, like six what rows the deep. Hell? It's yeah. great. That's it's real great. Mm. Those mm. poor fans. They, they had no idea what's coming. Just like, I'm hey, sure they this didn't. is great. This I'm is great. Oh, sure God. they didn't. I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they definitely weren't rooted to the spot. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, did, are you going to double back to Podner's? Uh, I am. I'm going back okay. to it now. Uh, the king returns to his old kingdom. King, Cor king Corbin returns. Ooh. Incorrect. Ooh. Incorrect. Baron yeah, Corbin, we get a hero's welcome in NXT. Think? Yeah. He was yeah. over in NXT. Baron Corbin would be a conquering he hero. And it'd be like NXT King Baron Richard. Corbin was the best Baron Corbin. Mm. He would only right. get a hero's welcome if he did a Kevin Owens and came back to his old theme music. Mm. Oh, the old entrance. <laughs> that yeah. was a cool entrance. You cannot convince yeah, me otherwise. Awesome. Mm -hmm. we, we were talking about Robin Hood before. Baron Corbin coming back to NXT would be King Richard returning from the Crusades. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, then who's Robin Hood? It, um, me? Well, no, no, you, no. You'd have to find Prince John, mm -hmm. who is Damian Priest. Oh, <laughs> Damian Priest Wait, stole his entire gimmick. Then who's the sheriff of Nottingham? William Regal. No, mm. no. William Regal is like the narrator, just kind of watching, like the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> the narrator. I'm is... sorry. I was just looking for someone. Angry and British. So. Oh, so, uh, oh, we got yeah. wait, wait. We got a lot of that though. We got Pete Dunn. We Walter. got uh, Walter. Walter. We got, is we got Walter. I mean, Walter. Yeah, we got, whole British. Uh, we got uh, I was gonna say Rhea Ripley, but I don't think that's right. No, she's us. She's Australian. You know what? Close enough. It's a... <laughs> no, Rhea Ripley with Rhea Ripley's you're, Robin Hood. Listen, you're badass and, and you Ripley talk funny. It's good. Destroy Baron Corbin. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a match. There's a dream match right there. <laughs> All right. It, okay. Made him, made him. We allow intergender word. No one Any, else anything that. that has not been said. Um, Sorg, also, do you have an answer on this one? Uh, <laughs> Sorg, don't pressure me. <laughs> don't pressure me. <laughs> Sorg, we gave you a two segment lead. You have to have an answer. I know. I've got. I've got an idea. Go for it. Tamina. Tamina. No, Tamina um, would get. Tamina. Mm. Mm. See, she wouldn't get. She wouldn't get booed. She wouldn't get a hero's welcome, but she mat. would still get go, cheered. She'd get a mat, right? Go. Yeah. 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 She'd, yeah. Get a, she'd get a welcome back, champ. Yeah. Okay. She'd get a welcome right. back because this woman has worked her ass off I, and has gotten nowhere. I don't know that <laughs> Natalia would get a great response. No, I don't no. think she would. I think, I think it, Natalia would get a yeah, good response. Yeah. I mean, people if she can... like Natalia in large crowds. Like, people like... Like, don't you genuinely like Natalia? Yeah. See, there you I go. wish Natalia I would like. Too much total divas to say that I do. <laughs> it's like I, it's, Natalia is a very likable character, a very likable wrestler, but they never go all the way with her, and that's what makes her frustrating. It's like stop teasing that she's gonna become the number one contender, or stop making her the number one contender, and then not ever having her win. She's, Let her win for crying out loud. She's been Dolph Ziggler in the women's division. Yeah. 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 Like, men's division yeah. has the Dolph Ziggler. Like, women's division has Natalia. Yeah. Sword. Sword. And they're Sword. Both Sword. Do you want to do a secondary big question? <laughs> has anybody, everybody given a significant answer? No? No. Yes? You got one? Uh, no? I think Ronda Rousey would not get a good welcome. Ooh, she might get booed. I... Well, hold on, hold on. Is she coming out with Shayna and her lesser horses? If she came out with Shayna and the other horsewomen, there you go. yeah, she would. Yeah. They would definitely get cheered. But this. if it was just Ronda by herself, mm -hmm. no. Okay. With that song? Okay. That would start playing. <laughs> Thank like, you. That Thank starts, you. <laughs> that starts playing and the crowd goes, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you're not Roddy. Um, <laughs> you're not Roddy. Yeah, yeah. And then Roderick uh, Rogers would come out and he'd be like, no, she's not. El Paso is, says, uh, would Lana right now get pops without Rusev? Wait, no. I think, I think um, Lashley could get a uh, pretty empty reaction. Yeah, yeah. Lashley yeah. could have never gotten a reaction. But that doesn't mean he's team. not, like, main roster, like, I mean, I think right now, like, I mean, obviously, the Rusev Lashley thing for as like morbid as it is to watch on TV, they cheer Rusev, they boo Lashley. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, main it roster works. works, but I think if he goes to NXT, it's kind of like you know. yeah. nobody's getting cheered in NXT for that angle. After they go down mm -hmm. to NXT with that angle, and the crowd goes, "That angle oh, is the man, reason." They should, I the see, now I want to see NXT back. try a wedding 
<laughs> no! Hey, we've done that before. Who we've can... done that before. All right, we've guys. Done that before. Sorg, I got a secondary way. big question oh, wait, for wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Like Who would you like questions. to see do a wedding in NXT? A no. wedding in NXT. <laughs> oh, if if they were going to do a wedding in NXT and it hadn't already happened, Johnny and Candace. Well, I mean, that's oh, the obvious one. Yeah, yeah. I know, well, but no. imagine if Heel Champa could have broken that up. Duh. 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 Okay. Well, no, here's the thing. Way back when, like, before he takes NXT... the mask, but under it is his whole beard. Well, here's the thing. Way back before <laughs> NXT was NXT, they NXT had a wedding. Oh Gold... yeah, Goldust and uh, what the uh, hell is her name? Asana. Goldust and Oksana. No. Oksana. Oh, with Goldust. Yeah, Oksana because she needed her green card. card. No way. That was on SmackDown. No, that was, was on NXT. That was the... Oh. Because Oksana turned heel that in the middle of the, the wedding. Game show NXT. Game yeah. Show. yeah. Game show NXT was, when, was a bad time. Do we really hard. count like game show NXT as yes, like, part we, of the proper NXT canon now? Yeah. The million yeah. dollar man we was really a have to. pastor on that mm-hmm. segment. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like it, it it takes about six months, but we always mention this segment. <laughs> What? <laughs> I remember, like, oh, no, no, I remember we talked about this maybe six months ago to the point where I looked it up and watched the whole segment. Oh, wow. And Does it's it hold up? such a weird segment. Oh, it's oh, so it's, weird. Oh, it's bizarre. God <laughs> it's dang it. Bizarre. Because all three Rhodes boys are there <gasps> Dusty, <sighs> Dustin, and Cody. Whoa! They're all there, and Ted DiBiase is the pastor. This oh led to this is everybody. That's the sound of everybody breaking right now. <laughs> yeah. This led to Ted Junior and this Gold is the sound of full cell when. Uh... I didn't remember that part. <laughs> Oh gosh! And <laughs> Tina said we almost had Maxine and Johnny Curtis get married too. Oh. Oh God! Do you me- Oh, do you remember freaking they? That segment of the intervention with Johnny Curtis and freaking Caitlin and at the time Justin Gabriel are trying to do it, and Gabriel just looks so uncomfortable. He just looks like I want to be anywhere but here. He's like, "Come on, single bros for life, right?" Yeah. Oh, it, it might have been it might have been Derek Bateman because I think they were called Betamax. Isn't that oh right? yeah, that was Derek yeah. Bateman. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right, and then Maxine left Bateman for Curtis, and then they yes. had that whole thing, and that was dumb. And wasn't Caitlin with Hornswoggle? <laughs> We're not talking about that, okay? We're not going there. That was weird. This is all on the network, right? Um, yeah. Like, this is oh, yeah, it's all on the network. This is NXT when it became the NXT, kind of what we have now, but it was still just on like. Like what the hell, cable network, bright code yeah. cable or something down there. It was not televised otherwise. Yeah, we were like finding we were finding like illicit NXT programming on on YouTube. Uh, Eamon was really big into following that. I remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, what was the secondary question? Uh, weddings. Oh, say- oh, weddings. Uh, Keith Lee and Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Well, no, no. You'd have to do Keith Lee and Mia Yim. This is the problem. Mia Everyone's Yim? in relationships Wait, down they're, there. They're actually state, dating. Though. Oh, they are? Oh, I didn't they're know we were like, pulling real. Yeah, they, like, they so... call themselves Yimitless. It's very cute. Aww, Aww. that's so cute. They, they, it's, very, <laughs> it's very cute. There was actually a backstage thing after Mia Yim's ladder match hmm. where um, Keith Lee came out after the show was off the air to check on her and see if she was okay. Oh boy! That's all right, all right. Forget the, forget the wedding one. We can't do it. I, I Everyone's say, already locked up. My my in, secondary uh, big question is: Who would get the loudest pop in a return to NXT? Bad News Barrett. Yes. No, it has to be a return. <laughs> he was on the original oh, NXT. Oh, he was NXT on the, season on one. Game he show. won. If, he if was the like winner. I'm finding it hard to believe that anyone would get a louder pop than Kevin Owens got it. Yeah. Takeover like that was really loud. That was Finn very got loud. a big one. Um, jeez, I love to see Sammy back. Mm. If, I don't know. if Sammy's gonna come back, Joe and would have, get a big pop. I, yeah. Joe I would. Think, I think it would be, um, the four horsewomen at the same all, time. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. all walking out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're not doing that anywhere but like a raw or something though. 
Yeah. Like, they wouldn't, like, I hate to use the word waste that on an NXT, but unless they really need to pop that number over AEW. <laughs> so. Oh, well, the the last show of the year mm-hmm. for for NXT is going to be a massive one. Like they're trying to, they're trying to close the year out hot. Wait, is that the Christmas Day one or the? It's the no, uh, there, December eighteenth one, I think. Is, uh, okay, eighteenth. Yeah, it's there's gonna be Rhea Ripley versus uh, Shayna for the title. Because basically, all of wrestling is gonna be a wash over the holiday, right? Oh yeah, I much. mean, really? So I like, mean, Raw Raw is going to be taped on Monday for the week of Christmas. Oh, wow. good. They're not doing it on Christmas this year. That was really no. annoying last yeah. year. Like, hey, we want to have you guys do a live show on Christmas. Why? Not yeah. even the fans or, want you to do that. Or the Christmas Eve one, you mean? Oh, no, no, no Christmas that... Day. Just... No, that was taped. It was taped. It was taped? I don't yeah. I didn't think it was. It, it was taped. It's gone back and forth. Was it last year or the year before? Because I'm pretty year before. There year was... before they did a live show on Christmas Eve, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and everybody was like, "Yeah, hey, maybe don't." Mm-hmm. Yeah, please. There yeah, I think, I think it was a one-time experiment. So Ricochet would get a decent pop uh, from Tina El Paso. Says the biggest pop would be for Moxley. <laughs> As Moxley. Would not be a bad pop. Bad. No. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Oh, geez. How many big questions do we have? Are we keeping up with this? Uh, <laughs> like two and a half. <laughs> two and a half? <laughs> two and a half-ish. And another near fall. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm here all night with the dad jokes. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> um, anyways, what else is going on in the wrestling world? I, 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 I thank you, everybody, for responding to... I, I found this wonderful... In my Apple News today, uh, Cage Site Seats had this great article. I didn't even read the article. I just took the picture. Name this boy band. It's AOP <laughs> and Seth Rollins. Uh, and uh, we got some good answers there. We got uh, Rollins Protection Agency. Uh, we did get uh, the auto insurance claims. Salt and Peppa. Cell Block C, uh, which is the name of an old crap song, actually, that we did back in the day. Ow. White, white Bread Finger Cuffs. Oh, all right. We got a little ra- raunchy there. Um, the Rollins Band minus Henry, Henry Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Well, uh, I, think, I think that's the winner. That's sorry, the winner uh, right there. Uh, they'd be thirty-two degrees because they're lukewarm at best. No, oh, 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 you're not. You're not. You're not buying this. You didn't. You didn't like the Seth Rollins reveal. <sighs> I. I don't know. The size says no. I don't know. I don't like raw main Mm storylines when there's no champion to speak of. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what we're in right now. Gee, I wonder why that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know exactly why that is. Mm -hmm. See, honestly, he was my original pick for For Brock. um, yeah, to come back. Oh no, Brock would get a massive pop. That's yeah. why. See, because the original question before it turned into what would get, what would make the crowd groan was, what would be a big return to NXT or somebody going to NXT that would make you groan? And my immediate response was, if Brock Lesnar shows up in NXT, I'm turning the channel. I'm going to AEW. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar destroy everybody on NXT because mm-hmm. you know he would. They put Keith Lee in with Brock Lesnar. Keith Lee's going to dominate the match, and then two F5s later, he's pinned. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't, like, I don't want to see Brock Lesnar in NXT, and I know he would get a pop, but then, and and then everybody would complain, oh, but he's destroying everybody. Well, yeah, no kidding. That's why they bring Brock Lesnar in, to destroy people. That's what's annoying about him. Well, you know, El Paso says he's enjoying all the questions, so now that Seth Rollins is a heel, Who's going to beat Lesnar for that belt? Mm. Uh, Kevin Keith, Owens? Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Yeah. <laughs> That's when in doubt, Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Hey, <laughs> Keith Lee winning the Rumble? I'd be all for it. Listen, all my answers from now until WrestleMania are going to be Keith Lee. Okay, <laughs> let's just um, let's just put this here. Especially after I heard... By the way, after after, after I just be? heard Yimitless, my other answers are me and Yim. <laughs> <laughs> Who's beating Shayna Baszler for the title? Keith Lee. I mean Mia Yim. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Close enough. When this I, doesn't apply, Mia Yim. 
Uh, hey, who says who says Keith Lee couldn't beat Shayna Baszler? I think he oh, could. Oh no, he totally could. <laughs> He's very talented. <laughs> yes, he is. He's, he probably could, but mm-hmm. should he? I uh, want to give a shout out to some friends of the show who were just on the Indie Mayhem show just about a month ago. And uh, look at that. Look who just popped up at the Performance Center. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Look at Duke yeah. Davis. Yeah. And uh, up to the right, you see his tag team partner, Gannon Jones Jr., hanging out at WWE Performance Center. Liddy is look. just out of frame Liddy, doing jumping yeah. jacks. Liddy is jumping jumper ja- jumping jacks. You can't see him in that I can't picture. wait to see Liddy's promo class uh, demonstration. <laughs> Man. Oh, I can't wait. To- I, I didn't see like well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know, you know, you, you know, Liddy's uh uh off work name. So, uh you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> what will Liddy's uh, name be in wait, NXT? Wait, 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 what what, it- when they when they change Liddy's name in NXT, what what's Liddy's name going to be? Lit. Breakfast <laughs> Lit. Sutter. What's Alex- Breakfast Sutter? Sutter. <laughs> 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 yeah, what is, so I mean, you know, we, we got great profiles for them. Where it's like, you know, do, you know, the, this person's a, a football player. This guy's a Muay Thai expert. What would Liddy's like profile be on the Performance Center report? He's a lion. <laughs> He's a lion. <laughs> we're he not is, lying about it. He's a actual, lion. Winner of the box trained the Lions Cup. The actual <laughs> Lions Cup. Oh jeez. He's um, a young lion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Litterbox trained <laughs> at the trained with Lance Storm. At ironically, the, per, at the Technical Wrestling Institute. He's the only lion you know that can throw a clothesline. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. only lion graduate of the Heart Dungeon. Uh, <laughs> once, once made a fantastic uh, uh, move on Mayhem Mania. Yes. <laughs> what is, what's gonna happen um if the main event gets signed i was gonna say and we're gonna have orphan liddy wandering the indies <laughs> looking for work oh, oh. listen oh god we, we, we're just gonna have Liddy to make- a sign that says are you my tag team oh no. <laughs> oh no oh no because you know do you know how that would end he would walk up to culmination with that sign and huh? that's not gonna end well <laughs> Oh, oh. that or Liddy would just eventually meet the wasteland. Ah! Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for like like emo goth Liddy oh. at all. Oh. I, I, I am absolutely flag. ready for emo goth Liddy now. Jeez, oh I don't know what to do with this. Uh, Liddy's a li- young Liddy lion, like young and impressionable lion. Sound- Wait, <gasps> no main event gets signed at WWE like say a year down the line they're on the main roster somebody's like we're they decide to have one of those dumb segments if this is your life that along those lines and they say, recognize this voice <laughs> and, and all of a sudden you hear <laughs> it's like get it duke you two say that you had, had no loose ends when you left pittsburgh but we have somebody who says the opposite out comes Liddy with the sign. Deadbeat cat dads. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your cigarettes, dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Why did you have to go to Florida for your cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh shit. Um, oh, God, I like how I like how this is, entire conversation is based on just the presumed outcome that the main event are getting signed. So, <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, this I'm ready. is happening now. I'm ready for somebody who made matches on the main event, or I would say that made matches on Mayhem Mania to now be booked in a match oh legitimately on Mayhem Mania. <laughs> Listen, the circle is that's, the that's the plan. Yeah. yeah. Oh my that God. is the plan. Stork. We'll be fighting Stork. over them if they get if that. Happens. Stork, if, all right, Matt, Matt yep. if they get signed, one of the uh, spots on a wheel of some sort has to be who do you book the main event against? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Must use the main event. Jeez. Must use the main event. Oh, and you know who you'd have to put them against? Liddy's counterpart in WWE, Lindsay Dorada. <laughs> Kitty mm-hmm. Catman. Mm-hmm. It's, it's Liddy's final form. By the way, I was so excited that what she said. I was so excited that. (laughs) 
I was so excited that WLC got reposted recently, so I could oh, show Duke because yes. I sh- I could sh- show Duke Davis because uh, I did say, listen, if we had the opportunity to book you into a WLC, would you guys do it? And he said, yes. What is that? I'm like, <laughs> oh, let me tell you about WLC. Oh no, tiny table, tiny, tiny table, chairs. tiny chairs, tiny ladder. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, we do own a four foot ladder now here in the studio. So it's almost as tall as me. We are one third away. From the WLC going down. <laughs> the greatest kickoff match in network history. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, anyways. <laughs> jeez. Um, guys. You're good. I oh, there, there goes Mike. No, I can hear you, though, Mike. <laughs> Mike, you're on the air. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What? It's... It's okay. That's okay. We'll just we'll just we'll stay off that. Um, Mike, put your pants back on. Uh, <laughs> wow! Oh my God! Wow! There are children watching this show. You're I hope not. It's ten I've, o'clock. I am only three matches ever old. <laughs> I'm too young and wrestling <laughs> age. <laughs> I'm only three matches Four. old, Mike. Put your pants on. <laughs> I have to be comfortable when I podcast. <laughs> if I have to wear heels, so do you. What? <laughs> Wait. Wait, I have to wear heels? We're all wearing a mic, can't you tell? I couldn't <laughs> tell. I guess I was the only face on this show. But I'm bummed. <laughs> oh. oh. Dad jokes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Anyways. What did you guys learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> this show? I'm or- sorry. I... I, I uh, I'm still fantasy booking the uh, the Liddy cat dad. <laughs> now, now I'm imagining the cat dad custody briefcase ladder match. Break I'm up, your Liddy. Break up. I'm your poppy Liddy. Um, so I, I'm your. <laughs> how, do you, oh, how do you say cat in Spanish? I'm your gato. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I I learned that a restraining order is absolutely useless <laughs> how many restraining orders are there in that room oh, also i i learned that you have to do a new restraining order in every state you go to that sucks i was not aware of that that really I sucks don't, i don't think that's real i don't i don't know i'm not sure about that part y- yes do you know about restraining orders Wait, no is that, that, you have is that why they don't, don't work restraining orders. is that why they don't work uh. <laughs> What, what's that? Uh, I learned that they now make vans with swivel office chairs that are bolted down in the back. <laughs> it's like it's like the office fan version of like the the uh, the gunner seat from the Ghostbusters car from the trailer. You know how you know when you watch the uh, the Mission Impossible movies and they have the uh, the van with all the like the computers and stuff in the back. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was in, except there was no computers back. They just there. didn't have them in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, guy in a chair. <gasps> Seth is guy in a chair. <laughs> just like- no. <laughs> Seth is not cool enough to you be know a what? Giant. The, the good yeah. thing is that I'm glad it set up a heel turn because it was it, it was the ultimate Seth not cool moment. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it like, wait, that means he's, wait, that means he's Doctor Evil. <gasps> he he should have said, "It was me, Kevin. It was me the whole he's got, time." He he is kind of a Bond villain because he's got the leather jacket and he has like foreign henchmen. That are speaking a different language. Like all he needs is guy that throws a shoe. Oh, oh. Yep. Sami Zayn. Oh. Oh. oh, but no, Sami Zayn is trying to manage Mojo for some reason. Everybody. Even I feel like I missed that segment, but I will bet you anything. At some point, Kevin Owens looked at Sami and said, "Really, you you want to manage <laughs> this guy? This is who you want to manage." Hmm. Okay. I didn't know that managers could jump shows. Apparently, yeah. Did you know that the managerial license is <laughs> Cross, transferable yeah, yeah. across. I, I mean, I really just want Zelina Vega to manage Angel Garza now. <gasps> Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tina learned is that Jordan Miles, Aleister Black, and Sami Zayn taught her that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Shitty people making good wrestling fans look bad. Wait. Listen, wrestling fans, it's up to us to police ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you see bad wrestling fans, I'm sorry. It's up to you. Only... Just just trust just trust that there's more good wrestling fans than bad wrestling yeah. fans. If thing... you see bad wrestling fans, hit them with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that. Um... I didn't no, say no, no, no. hard, just enough to know that they're bad. 
That's like the wrestling equivalent of a squirt bottle. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm worried of is Sami Zayn's um, encounter with a homophobic fan. I saw the video for that, but I'm not sure of the recent developments with the other two. Uh, uh, Alistair Black put somebody on blast on Twitter for uh, saying something at a show that he overheard. So. Okay. Uh, ACH, I'm not sure what's going on. With I know he like read. <laughs> he read. I can't keep up with ACH. He, he's going ACH faster than I can keep going up. Insane. A little if, bit. Uh, he um I, I know he made his like re-debut at uh, one of his home promotions yeah uh, recently so uh El Paso learned that the Ascension were still employed <laughs> until Sunday at least <laughs> uh, uh, bad news that's that's not accurate anymore no no well, not now what were were still employed he's I think he's listen he's a writer yeah, before they picked up their phone <laughs> yes before they picked up their phone <laughs> damn it Connor that, that should be the no! new future endeavored and the ascension picked up their phone this week <laughs> it's like hey that must be healthy rides Connor! <laughs> game one uh chris larusso learned it's a wonderful wrestling world thank you chris yeah all right hey tatiana hold on sorry I didn't oh mad mike has a thing <laughs> what'd God you learn damn it, damn it sorry i thought i went around the horn and you didn't say what you learned either I d- apparently i didn't <laughs> Apparently not. So are I, I, you okay? I, I learned that we're going to have a pay-per-view with no main title match on it this weekend. Woo! No women's title matches. No men's title matches. The main match is a women's tag title match. Wait, there's no Whoa. Bray Wyatt. There's no Bray Wyatt match on that TLC. Uh, you know, I thought... Oh no, there is, but it's not for the championship. No. Oh, wait, so. The- Top four it's, and singles it's not, titles will and not, not be defended. Fiend. And it's not the fiend. It's wait, it's, what? No. Yes. No. Yes. Wait. No, it, that's really bad. It is, it is sweater really vest bad. Bray Wyatt. Why? Versus, versus Super Dad the Miz. Was well, that mean we're not gonna get the red lights though, right? Uh, okay. I'm, I, I'm hoping. Bray Wyatt God. just rem- sweater vest for Bray Wyatt just remembered the time that he stalked Roman Reigns' his daughter and said, "Hmm, Miz has two of those. I could do it better." <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. You know, I, I will say Bailey will probably fight Lacey Evans. So mm. three out of four will not be defended. Oh, that's somebody who wouldn't get that big of a pop if she went back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Man. Lacey. I know you hey. tried, but hey, it's Salute the Troops Month. Lacey Evans, uh, you're going to be a oh, good guy. Also, um, I also learned that there is going to be no tribute to the troops televised this year. What? Why not? Oh, um, USA didn't want it. No WWE week on USA. No, because they don't have SmackDown. You don't have SmackDown, and they already have NXT on uh, Wednesday. Yep. That's right, they're already two fifths of the way there. Yeah, they got Ms. and Mrs. Yeah, probably. Have you yeah. done like WWE week? All right, all right. Monday, Raw. Tuesday, the Marine Six. <laughs> Wednesday, NXT. <laughs> Thursday, some bullshit. Friday, <laughs> tribute to the troops. Done. Thursday, <laughs> some bullshit. You already said Raw, man. <laughs> <laughs> you already said Raw. Oh, shit. You can't run a replay, Matt. <laughs> right. Who gets the rights for that shit? <laughs> uh, all right, oh. Sorg, what did you learn this week? I learned lesson? you do not fuck with the sweeper guy. There was a there was an incident where uh, J Rock was getting beat up by Ryan Edmonds after the intermission, and uh, there's a, if you saw the video from last month's RWA, there was a hot dog incident, and so uh, he was he was getting basically attacked with a hot dog in retribution. It's it makes sense if you watch it. Um, so there was once again more, and they had just cleaned up after the um, Devon table <laughs> before intermission. So I think somebody was a little perturbed. They had to go clean up the ring again especially hot dog. So like we're on there and we're doing a live switch and all of a sudden I just see a, a, a broom get javelined from the side of the ring into the ring. I'm just like, what the fuck did that come from? And uh, he gets in and they're like, they're, they're, they're sweeping it up. And there's like two or three guys in the ring trying to clean this, this shit up. And then some guy that I've never fucking seen before says, you suck at sweeping. And he gets in the ring <laughs> and just fucking goes to town sweeping this stuff and gets it done in like like 20 seconds flat, right? And everybody's cheering. <laughs> it was, Wrestling is sometimes the greatest when there isn't wrestling happening. I, I, you know what? The broom man at the indie show, yeah. there are not many people more over than that No, person. no. Or sometimes 
Uh, sweep, not. Sweep, 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 sweep. I remember a lot of clean it up, asshole, clean it up at the JCW shows. <laughs> so, a lot of sweep, 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 sweep. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're stuck watching this guy sweep <laughs> in Happy front of. Oh, did, oh, you didn't know you're supposed to go to the bathroom now. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. This is not yeah. A, a part of the entertainment. Is not watching just, this man just sweep three shards of glass out of the ring. Just three hundred so. people watching this one guy clean up a hot dog. <laughs> so, I'm, still, I'm still thrown off by I said. But you said someone was attacked with a hot dog? Yeah, yeah. He was trying to shove it down his throat. Well, and the other thing they were... In the- Sorry, I'm pretty sure you witnessed a rape. <laughs> uh, no, not that end. Um, Wait. What? No. What? Um, either end is <laughs> not great, Sorg. Well. <laughs> Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. I look at not great. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube.com slash poppy. <laughs> Mainstream Matt with one T on the Twitter. Remember, Disney Channel Originals are overrated. Oh, it's a lie. It's a, it's a dirty fucking lie. There's <laughs> a dirty fucking lie. You take Johnny Tsunami's name out your mouth. <laughs> and Tatiana Rose. At, ta- at Tatiana three underscore roast on Twitter and on Facebook. There you go. The current Black Diamond women's champion. I'm sure we'll be defending that next month. I don't know. I haven't seen the card yet. The graphics yet? Are you on them? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> we'll go check on, that out. I am not on the card yet. Yeah. She's like, defend yet. it? Like in a match? <laughs> I have to do that again? <laughs> Twice? Do again? Twice? 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 I did it again. Just remember, <laughs> you keep the title on a count out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep that in mind. I mean, that happens. That Just champions show up and book it. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, boop. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. A great chat room tonight. Uh, you can't just skip on the details of the hot dog attack. Okay, listen. You really can't. The That's first for gold. My mind is the first That's for gold. J Rock attacked. Oh. You can go oh. check it out at IndieWrestling.network. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Actually, we posted, we posted the first attack, and the second attack is posting tomorrow. Okay. On IndieWrestling.us. Two, two parts. parts. Yeah, there's a first part. The first part was just the condiments. And the second part was the actual hot dog. Because Ed, Ryan no, Edmonds was attacked by you, J-Rock. And he took all the condiments. together, do they become a sandwich? It's the video where all the fans are pouring relish on Ryan Edmonds. And then he gets um, and then he gets taken out by uh, Bill Collier. And then this month, um, J-Rock got attacked by a chair. And then, um, and then, and then had a hot dog just because... And uh, Edmonds shoved it down his throat. And then uh, now they're set up for fans bring the weapons, which I hope are all hot dog yeah. made instruments. Fans bring the food. Yeah. Ran- <laughs> fans bring the food fight. All right. All right I think, okay, I on, think we on. missed. I think we Some- missed an opportunity here, RWA. All right. Someone listening to this podcast who is going to that show, please duct tape raw hot dogs to a steel chair. <laughs> Ew. Ew! All right, Gross. duct tape, cooked hot dogs. Maybe it turns out Ryan here. Edmonds vegan, and that's gonna be like you know extra powered. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thank you everybody in the chat room rocking with us all night. This has been so much fun. We will see you. Uh, oh, a hey, uh, uh, note: uh, Tyler Klein, Trophy Boy, will be on again uh, uh, Wednesday. We'll be filming an Indie Mayhem show to be released at a future date. And Marshall Gambino will be show up whenever he moves in here uh, for an episode as well. So keep an eye on the stream on the Indie Wrestling US Facebook page. Thank you guys so much. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.